on this idea of priorities and flexibility, it actually brought a different meaning for me this time around. So when I talk about that, I had a list of priorities. I had a list of things that I wanted to achieve while I was there. But at the same time, I also wanted to prioritize work-life balance. And oftentimes that ended up winning out. I wanted to explore and I had the opportunity to explore the island a little bit more to spend time doing things that I enjoy. So I did tend to prioritize those kinds of things. And this idea of flexibility sort of comes into that as well. So running my own business means that I have that opportunity to be a bit more flexible, that if there's something that is not required on a deadline, that it's not an urgent client request or something like that. It meant that I was able to to prioritize whatever I wanted to do on a given day. The key thing for me was slowing down and learning to enjoy a better work-life balance, learning to enjoy greater degree of flexibility. One thing I did notice was the ingrained nature of this nine to five mentality where I was working over there, unusual hours, but I still had ingrained in me that it's nine o'clock, I should start working or it's five o'clock, it's okay to finish up. Whereas I think the future of work is very different, but you know, I'm more than 20 years doing that nine to five and it's really hard to shake that whole mentality. Um, But I do strongly believe that the future of work is a bit more flexible, that we'd be focusing more on our well-being as opposed to trying to climb any sort of career ladder. And we'd be focusing more on our our own happiness, uh, flexibility and our priorities have changed at work as well. So I got COVID for the second time while I was over there. Now, it wasn't as severe as when I had had it previously, um, but it still took me out of action for about a week. I was still dipping in and out of, you know, bits and pieces of work that that had to be done. But at the same time, um, it, it definitely had an impact. And one thing I noticed and noticed this the last time I had COVID as well, but maybe haven't mentioned it before, but it definitely had an impact on my mental health. So, you know, I get into a spiral of, something negative happening and then my my mind takes it to all sorts of places and suddenly you know I, like it's not worth being in business and it's not like why am I doing the podcast all of these kind of thoughts going on in my head and I suppose one learning from that is to have a contingency plan as well so if you are out of action for a week is there something that you can do do you have contingency sort of built into the plan that you have for everything you want to achieve during the time that you're there 